welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about using the credit card shim. So uh, the credit card shim is really nothing fancy. It's a shim made out of a credit card or an old gift card or something like that. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with what a shim is, a shim goes in a razor and goes in between the base plate or the safety bar and the blade to create a bigger blade gap, which is supposed to make a razor more aggressive. Now, why a credit card shim? Well, a normal shim, uh, a lot of people make them by taking a blade and cutting off the sharp edge so it's thinner, and then they just put this uh, over there. And uh, But the problem is a double-edged blade is very, very, very thin. And since it's so thin, it doesn't really do too much. So by using the credit card shim, um, not only is it reusable and doesn't get like kind of rusty and nasty, um, but it's far thicker, so therefore creates a bigger blade gap. Now, um, I started talking about this a while ago, and I actually got a lot of people re requesting... Uh, that I do a video on it to kind of follow up. So I've got my top cap here with a blade already in it, so I'm going to be careful. And uh, what I do is I just kind of keep the blade and the top cap uh, upside down. Then I take my credit card shim, and mine doesn't really look that good. Um, however, Douglas Smythe has a video on creating one, and uh, you guys can watch that. But pretty much I just kind of like trace the outline of a normal shim, and then uh, punched a hole in the middle. And you could actually just probably punch like three holes. I tried to be way too uh, technical with it, and it just didn't work out. So um, place that over, and then take your base plate, put that over, and then you can screw on your handle. Now this is not going to work in your two-piece, your butterfly razors. Um, there you go, and that looks pretty good. As you can see with mine, uh, like I said, mine, I didn't do the greatest of job. It sticks out further on, on this side than the other. But the thing is, it doesn't particularly matter. But because what it does is create a nice, even, bigger blade gap there, that's going to make my razor uh, more aggressive. Now, uh, this Phoenix Double Open Comb is considered to be more of a mild razor. And I just absolutely love it and I go uh, to different razors frequently and then uh, I, I come back to this one <sighs> typically when I've gotten in trouble you know using a different razor and I need something that I know is going to give me a good shave and isn't going to cause me any problems and uh, this razor is just always that answer and I think that uh, you know sometimes I'll hear you know people shimming it like I'm going to be doing today and saying that it's just not aggressive enough and I thought that as well. I, I kind of had, you know, I did a little bit of that criticism. But what I'm realizing is that I'm just missing the point of that razor. That, you know, it's not supposed to be super aggressive. It's just supposed to be a very comfortable daily driver. And that's exactly what that razor is. It's just so comfortable and forgiving and just great. So, uh, you know, you see me putting this shim in it, and I know I'm talking about how it's a perfect razor as it is, but uh, the shim, I wouldn't, I certainly would not do this every day. I mean, I could use the double open comb with no shim every day for the rest of my life and be perfectly happy with it. It just, um, you know, sometimes it's fun just to play around and try things different, and I'm sure you see people in the, in the forums doing different things, and it sparks your curiosity. Um, if you want to, try it. Yeah, it does make it more aggressive, but maybe you want that. Maybe you have a little bit extra growth. You want that extra efficient shave one day for some reason. Uh, who knows what your reason may be, but go ahead and try it. But I'll tell you that the razor on its own is absolutely fabulous. Now, if they made an adjustable double open comb, if Phoenix ever decided to do that, I would be first in line to buy it because that would be super cool. All right, so uh, in case you're wondering what soap I was using, this is the Phoenix 9 soap. Terrific, terrific soap. And I'm using the Blem Brushworks Jolly Roger 26 millimeter synthetic. And I did use a pre shave bar. You know, I am the lover of pre shave bar. This is the CAD, a methylated pre shave bar. Very light menthol on it, and uh, 
I use it more like to wash my face and stuff right before the shave and uh, works out really good. Okay, so I'm happy with that lather. The brush is full of lather. And you saw me get my razor set up earlier, so it is ready to go. Okay, and uh, sorry, let's get this here. Okay, uh, lining up my sideburns first. Now, uh, as I said before, this does make it a lot more efficient. There is a lot more blade gap there. And so it does change, for me, everything about this razor. Uh, typically, it's one that I can shave with extremely quick. But if I am doing the credit card shim in there, it's going to change it a lot. So I do go a little bit slower. Still giving me those classic lines that this razor is famous for. Um, the reason it gives me those is because the bottom cap and the top cap have those lines in it allowing the razor, the lather and the hairs to pass through standing up and uh, they call it self lubricating, which is one reason why this razor is such a comfortable shaver. Okay, I'm gonna continue on with this first pass. Okay, second pass done, or first pass done, sorry. Let's get uh, cleaned up and move on. Okay, and uh, very, very, very efficient with that uh, credit card shim in there. Uh, soap scent, amazing and awesome. Now, if I was in a big rush in the morning and uh, I didn't have time to do a full three pass shave, uh, that might actually be a time where I would go to uh, this credit card shim. Uh, most of the time when I'm not in a rush, just like at, at a nighttime shave, um, you know, I don't mind taking my time and doing three passes and just kind of enjoying it. But if I was in a big rush, I could use that and have it, you know, with as, as efficient as it is. And I could get a good enough shave that I would be fine with that all day long. Now, uh, as far as shaving at night for me, and only doing one pass with that, I would end up getting my five o'clock shadow way too early. Uh, so that wouldn't quite cut it for me. So with this, I am going to be doing a three pass because it is a nighttime shave. So um, once again, still go across the grain and I'll go against the grain, uh, but it just ends up being a very, very, very close shave. Still watching my angle, watching my pressure. Um, you know, it still keeps those smooth shaving properties. But when putting any kind of shim in a razor, you are putting a little more risk in there. Um, you know, just because it's more aggressive. So I don't recommend this if you're if you're a beginner and you're still struggling with. With getting good shaves, I highly recommend this razor, but I don't recommend putting any shims in it. I think that this razor on its own is a great razor for anybody, for a new person, for somebody who's been doing this forever, because it's just such a smooth shaver. I truly could have just this razor and be happy. No, I'm probably not going to do that because there are other razors that I 
absolutely love, but this one just gets the job done. Second pass, let's rinse off, get ready for third. All right, um, I can definitely feel on my face how much more aggressive uh, it is with this credit card shim as opposed to this razor in general. Um, my face just feels a little more, um, I don't want to say traumatized because I don't feel like I've gotten irritation, but it's just felt a lot more blade on it even with uh, the luxury of uh, using the pre-shave bar as a wash and using a horrifically slick and protective soap um, it's just a little bit just a little bit more blade than I use on a daily basis you know like I said that the Phoenix on its own is, is truly a daily driver but uh, I have pretty sensitive skin and I couldn't use uh, the credit card shim every single day. I just just couldn't do it. It's maybe uh, maybe if I shaved every other day or every third day for sure. But unfortunately, I have sensitive skin and such coarse beard growth. But I have to shave every day. But going against the grain is when this thing really shines. Like for me, this is a kind of a tough area right here against the grain. And this razor typically, uh, I don't know if it's due to its kind of mildness uh, without the shim. I can't quite ever get that true baby butt smooth without without a lot of work. I can get it, it just takes a lot longer. And here it's just like a few quick little buffing strokes uh, over and it's perfect. Okay, three passes down. It's about as smooth as it could be, so I'm going to get cleaned up and finish off. Okay, after three passes, this shave is incredibly close, incredibly smooth. I did a hot water rinse and a cold water rinse, so I'm going to try my Allen block under some cold uh, after under some cold water, as cold as I can get it out here, and just see. Uh, this will give me some feedback on how the shave was. And uh, here are my cheeks. Very little. Stinging. If you get stinging, that's kind of those areas where you've caused some like little microscopic cuts and stuff. Um, you may have gone a little too hard, and still very little stinging on the on the neck also. So, um, wow, that was a really, really, really good shave as far as the feedback the Allen blocks given me. I um, usually let that sit on my face for a few seconds, uh, and then we'll just rinse it off. If it ever gets in your mouth, it kind of has a real weird taste. Okay, so after that, uh, after the Allen block, I'm going to use uh, some Thayer's Witch Hazel. I have it here in like a little spray bottle. That way I don't have to put it all over my hands. Spray it on my face. 
Uh, it's actually, I think it's un it's unscented. I don't smell anything. So I'll do that, and then I'm going to actually to finish off this shave with the Phoenix Nine matching aftershave cologne. And so to uh, finish off, if you are thinking about shimming a razor and uh, one shim doesn't do it, and I know some people will do two or three or four uh, with these double-edged shims, I highly suggest. Uh, just taking the time and making the uh, plastic credit card shim, it's totally reusable. Uh, you can just take it out and rinse it off afterwards. Works really well. And uh, it definitely does the job of, I would guess, probably close to three shims. And uh, it works really well. So, ooh, alcohol base. I don't use it very often. But it smells so good and pairs so well with the soap. So anyways, if you have any questions about uh, the credit card shim or anything about this shave, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for uh, all of your subscriptions and your views and stuff. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, we'll see you next time with another video. Bye.